I literally already don't f with her because she doesn't like me because I'm different fine. and I'm fine with that. Well, not because you're different, because... Yeah, because I'm different because I'm not going to shut my mouth when I don't like something. That is completely fine. I'm in this competition, not for your satisfaction. Girl, and apparently not for the judges either. What? Girl. Whose was the best runway outfit, did you think? I think mine was the best. See, I thought you were more rock and roll than country. Really? Know, yeah. <laughs> I'm not dogging you by any means. I just thought it was more like Lita Ford. I didn't like the corset that Jessica was rocking. Really? Yeah. I thought it threw her look. What about Pandora? What did you think of her costume? I thought the little applique that she did was cutesy. It reminded me of like a baby doll, almost. But the something about the top bothered me. The brown. Maybe it was just too plain because the pants popped so much. I think Morgan needs to be knocked off her high horse because Morgan has put herself out there as this amazing performer that knows everything. What do you feel about what they critiqued you on, Morgan? When RuPaul told me that there was a fine line between innuendo and being crude, I understood. Like, you know, I was being crude, like, as a joke. Right. I am so happy that someone said something about Morgan's whoreness. Like, I'm all for being crude, but there's a time and place, and I feel like she doesn't know either. I don't know, like, <laughs> I wish sorry. you would say what you really yeah. felt. You guys have no idea who I am. Right, but the thing you're giving me is like a pussy. A pussy? Yeah, you're trying to be the nice one. But that's who I am. Right. I don't But the like... lack of the decision makes you look like a doormat. Think that I'm a doormat. Think it. And then when you find out about me a little bit more down the road, think what you want. You don't know me. You don't know what angle I'm playing this game at. Underestimate me, please do. That puts me in a better position to screw you over. So let me ask you a question. Yes. How come you only give your opinion when you're on the main stage? And when we ask you something in the workroom, you never want to talk. And we're like, girl. I talk. It's just to choice people. I don't get a feeling of feeling comfortable to talk to you just because you give, at least to me, this feeling of that you don't like me. But at the same time, anytime you're asked an, an opinion of anything, you just kind of like brush it off, like I don't, I don't want to answer it, you know? And, or when you do give an answer, it's like a PC answer or something that someone would want to hear. Like, Today, I asked who's going to be in the top three. So, Tatiana, who do you think is in the top three? Um, I hope it's me, and that's really all I have to say on the matter. We want to know what you're thinking. It's not that we're cold-hearted bitches, but there are times I'm like, what is she thinking? Why does she seem like this little, like, mysterious enigma that's in the workroom that's just kind of fluttering around and only... But that's only not how I've been the whole time. That's not how I've been. In the beginning, I was giving opinions, but it's just like, at this point, I know the answer. All of you guys think that I'm, like, that I'm, like, nothing. I would never say that. Her interview was Her look was Her book cover was her trying to launch and sell her book to the judges with she sh Who do you think should go home tonight? Carmen Carrera. Stacy. Carmen. Dell to work. Stacy. I would like to see Shangela go. She's just a loud mouth and she's always talking and allelooing. Raja. Stacy and Shangela, get the f out. I think you should be on season five or six. That's where you should be. That's interesting, Ru, because Raj has been in the game for 20 plus years doing drag, and I've been on it for one, and we're in the same competition here. Why is everyone so silent? Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up, as they say. Yeah. As they say. Cheers. 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 I'm so glad you're here. Cheers. Cheers, Ellen. Cheers, Shangela. Oh, my. Maturity level, right. clearly. No, honey. Reality. That's all it is. That's fine. Reality. Cheers, baby. It's fine. That's fine. It's Reality. fine, girl. Just, we gotta do what we all gotta do. You know what I mean? We don't have to attack people personally, Delta. We're, they ask the question. They ask the question. Delta B. She asked Delta a question, boo-boo. She asked Stand up for your friend. No tea. No, no, I take oh, it no, back. Oh, no, I'm standing up for me. I take See, it back. I you're take the it one back. who I'll wants just... to stand up for other people. 
And you need other people to stand up for you. No. You I can don't? stand up but for myself. I don't understand what the chip on your shoulder yeah, is, Yeah, what's Shangela? the problem, Shangela? We love the you. question was asked. Cool. Rue asked us a question. Did you want us to say, F you, Rue? I'm not going to answer you. Nobody here is weak. Everyone here is strong. Delta, I didn't recall you saying anything against me. Uh, it's clearly evident that you have a chip on your shoulder. No, sweetheart. Don't try to turn it on me. No, no, for me. For me. Like, for no, me, tell me. Did you say anything about me? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. So then why are you attacking me right now? I'm not attacking you. I'm telling you the truth. Why do you I have a chip on my shoulder? Because you always do. This is your way. You do this. You bring it up, and then when you when somebody comes back to you, you're always like, oh, stop, oh, stop, oh, stop, oh, stop. Right, I'm being real. And it's I'm being like, real. It's boring. Oh, no, it's boring. Let's be real. And that's no, you're always talking real. about being real. We are being real with you. We're telling you right now what's going on. Roger, so be real. Oh, no, be no, real. Bitch, I'll be real. Be real, girl. Be real. Hallelujah. Be real. Roger. Jesus. Let me it's tell you so something. boring. You're so I mean, fake and insincere, and it's now so apparent. Mm -hmm. But I know better now, and that's all I need to know. Done. Yeah, you're so quick I'm to play victim. You're so quick to play to you victim. No you, if you think that I have such a chip on my shoulder, boo, I apologize that you feel that way about me. I don't. You know, I felt attacked oh, on victim. the stage tonight. Oh, Here she victim. goes, still. Poor Shangela. There's no tea, Roger. Play your role, boo. No tea. I'm, I'm not playing any role. I've been Roger for a long time. You obviously feel threatened mm, yeah. by me, which is oh, why you yeah, want me to go yeah, home, I'm so right? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Is Shandula, that right? Shangela, Shangela. You know, I, you I almost feel like I shouldn't speak. But yet, you said I back down from everything. But yet, when I ask you a question, you can't answer. No, I said there are two people who I think are weak just because Rue asked me, and so I answered what Rue asked me to answer. And I said, Stacy and Shangela, get the f out. What's so not real about that? What's so fake about that, Shangela? Well, if that's how you felt, why didn't you say that in the beginning instead of trying I said to be that PC? To you, I said that to you from the beginning, from the beginning, beginning. I, I, I just don't think you should be here. What's you, the big deal? You're threatened by me, right? I'm not threatened by you. Oh my God, that is the most, ugh. It's okay, Roger. I think that you have an amazing personality, and I your personality. No, you think I have a mouth? Let's get real from no, the stage. No, we are being real. I'm not talking to you right now. Oh. But I was talking to you when you said I have the biggest mouth here, and then you're annoyed that you by have my the mouth. I didn't say you have the biggest mouth, honey. I just what, said you have a big mouth. Somebody stand honey. up and say something. Do you see Roger's skirt? The the she yes, multi used fabric. That's why the hair looks like a ruffle. No, she said she no, used no, 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 the, no, no, no. the lace from no, the no, wig. No, 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 no. That's tool. Fabric. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. She said that she took, no. She told the judges that she took the lace from the wig, cut it, put them all together, and made one big piece. So the pieces that look like paper mache are also hair? Yeah, like these little lace pieces. Yeah. These are all done with hair. Oh. I, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's yeah. fabric. Are you sure? Can I go to, the, to her? Well, I'm sure she gonna come in here in a minute. I want you to look at it and I want you to tell me to my face, that is not lace from a wig. That is tulle fabric. That's a tulle fabric. Everybody, everybody saw it. Of course, you have a wonderful shape. Of course, it's tall. No, when she comes in here, I'll ask her, and she'll lie right here to no. my face. Say it. Say That's it. That's no problem. We'll see Say if she it. lies, and we'll see if she tells the truth. I am the Nancy Drew of drag. I want to know the real tea, and if I smell a stunt, I'm gonna call it out. Does anyone have tape? I feel like I need to tape this thing to my chest because it's ready to flop over, and like my little boobs are gonna show up. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Nothing. Let the truth be told. You know, my name is Nancy Drew, and I'm going to get to the bottom of the truth. Did she use tool fabric in her costume? Oh, something's like cutting into my side, and it's... Where? Let me see. No, it's inside. It's just my pantyhose, you know? You know how it gets all like... Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Tangle, tangle, tangle. Mm -hmm. Do you like your critics? I loved mine. It was really um, nice. Yeah, I mean, I had like good things and bad things. So, I mean, I have no idea. She used tulle fabric in that dress. She knows the difference between hair and tulle fabric. That's not all hair. Well, and y'all turned it though. It looked amazing. Like, I don't understand how yours goes like this, like yours, that's how you brushing like 
for hours to make it that poofy. Yours is like do 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 do. I still don't understand how you did this and made it like flare out and it just like fits. I made fabric, and sits. girl. I made fabric out of hair. You you made fabric out of hair. Yeah, it was like when I was cutting it, I had just like little pieces left, so I fuzzed it all in my hand and I laid it out onto onto like a, a thin piece of, see this, this little gauze. Oh, that tool? Mm-hmm, that tool, and that's what I laid it on, and then I spray adhesive the out of it until it onto turns that. solid, yeah. And I thank you. Finally, some truth out of Raja. Miss Raja admits that she did use fabric on her dress. Boo, I am not the fool. I don't know how I came up with that. I had all the extra hair, and I was like looking on the ground, and I'm like, I'm like, how do I use that? I'm running out of colors. Like, I really want to use it. And I was like, well, let's try this out. And it worked, you know? There you go. Come on, Miss Tutu Tool and Fabric and Felt. Sickening. <laughs> and hair. I, I, I mean, I bombed this challenge completely, so. Rude tells me I need a tweeted apology. I definitely will do that because that was hideous. I, I knew I would be in the bottom. Wow. How do you feel being that, you know, you're just safe with Janet, something you do six nights a week? Ooh, talk about tension. I got, you know what? Since we're here, we might as well just get it out in the open. <laughs> When I was doing my makeup and you came at me and you said you was joking, there is a way you joke and then there is a way that you do things to try to rip somebody and hurt their feelings. But and you really, really went there with me saying I never won nothing. I always well, feel first, first, first on of love. This is what I hate about queens. Girls can dish, but they can't take. I hadn't said nothing to you. You told me I couldn't complete a reign and I said, well, you didn't No, win. I didn't say that. You started in on me completely. Okay, then I was just playing with oh, you. Oh, okay. You said that was a sensitive subject the last time we it talked about it. It is a very it. sensitive, but I thought then we were joking. Then why would you bring that subject up like that? You understand what I'm saying? Coco, it's, it's look, just like, look like me and her were talking. Jade, you, you told me I should be wearing a two-piece. Alyssa will always find a way to take focus off of herself. Jay, I've never came for your look or your, your body weight or anything like if that. If you're gonna come for me, then I'm gonna definitely come back to you, so. I feel like Alyssa is a person that can dish it, but she can never take it. I don't like being ran over, and I'm not somebody that's just gonna be bullied. Jade, really, before you read, read yourself first. Oh, honey, you act as if that you're just perfect and polished out of said everyone, I was girl. I feel like I hear your voice everywhere, so. You can't come for me. I'm not worried about you or your drag mom. Uh, honey, I ain't worried. After that view that I got the other day, I ain't worried at all. Jade, jealousy's a killer in this industry. Baby, I ain't jealous of that, honey. I ain't jealous. Bring it to the runway. Honey, and I am. Put your mouth where your fashion is. I'm not gonna sit there and be a little lamb and just so, someone tear me to shreds like you do well, some of these I other girls. Girl, if I was quick to judge you, I'd judge you on that makeup. But girl, I could judge you on your lack of talent. You're a phony amateur girl. To you, girl. because you're a mean phony girl. Amateur. You're a mean girl. Girl, you're a joke. I'm the sweetest bitch you'll meet, but if you come for me, then you'll see a whole new side that you wouldn't have ever imagined. Honey, let the cookie crumble. Girl, if I was gonna I judge, judge anyone, I judge you on that body where their shoulders should match them hips, you, but you they don't. All so. That. What? <laughs> Get a date. Girl, you had rolls all over the place in the back. It was disgusting. Back rolls. This, this little queen is trying to really come for me today. Enough. Did you see her back? It was like, <laughs> it was very unpleasant. Honey, mm mm. <laughs> Did we not get a clear ass vision <laughs> of what was above us? I was thinking it. Jade said it. I've watched Coco 
numerous times make low blows about me and my character behind my back. So that lets me know where our friendship stands. Coco, why didn't you come say something to me? Why next? would I say anything to you about it? It would just hurt right. your feelings. What why would I hurt my feelings? Why would I come and tell you that? There was no reason to. You wouldn't have cared anyway. As you a wanted friend, to challenge. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have cared. I wouldn't come and tell you it was after honestly, the fact. Honestly, I'll be honest with you, Coco. If I don't speak to you ever again in my life, are you, I will not be lost. In the Silver Lounge, Jocelyn's runway critique was the topic at hand. They kind of read your costume a bit, right? They did, and you know what, and I know, I get it. I got read last time for it. I don't like that costume. I, I don't know where to look. All I see is ass. ass. Right, but I have to critique more than just ass. I don't understand why after we just gave you such a harsh critique, you'd wear the same outfit in a different color. I get it. I mean, and honestly, this is my style. This is how I create an outfit, is kind of layering things together to make an outfit. But since they didn't like it last week, did you ever for a thing be like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to figure agree. something else out? You know what, to me, when I was getting red, it was that I was wearing four or five bathing suits on top of each other. So now it's two or three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no tea, no shade. It's a little baby new year. Oh. Overall, I think I did really well, but you know, I'm starting to feel defeated and that makes me angry. Never mind how angry the girls' comments are making me. I definitely, I took a bigger risk than I ever thought I would. I don't think to not the, wear a wig. Um, I don't think that's I think the that issue. Was the problem. I think I just think that the drag, your drag, isn't as polished as the other drag in the competition right now. So you said on the runway that like this might be something you want to do in the future, like having a talk show and doing interviews. I would really love the opportunity to be the first, you know, drag queen to get to go to the BET, MTV, Source, Grammys, Oscars, and just interview people on the runway and look absolutely fabulous and be, you know, a big personality. And I know that no, those are things I need to work on. I need to. I mean, you have to learn their names, there, Chad. Uh, uh, oh. Did you, hey, did you, what happens? Oh my God, I'm so excited. The handsome Chad Bono. And Chad, I, okay, so Chad, um, well, Chad. Chad. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> So, Vandela Creme, they ate it up. They were into it. Yeah. I mean, Courtney helped me manifest some positivity, and like I was already feeling a lot lighter and happier by the time I got out there. And I thought, okay, I, I think I'm bringing the energy I think they want, but honestly, I had no idea. You overwhelmed me with the, just the biggest smile on my face. When I saw you coming out, your moves, your choreography, you, you really worked and thought about how does a fly move? You were definitely wearing the costume. It wasn't wearing you. I think what you proved today is that it's not about the costume and it's about how you're selling it. And I think because you had all that positive energy, it showed in your face. I know that this isn't like the most um, like advanced fashion moment, no, but I feel like I, you know, it's it's very much my sense of humor. Now, does it make you nervous at all that they're like, oh, this finally this Bendel Creme outfit worked in your favor? Because sometimes it could be like, oh, well, you know, this is very Ben de la Creme. And it's like. Darian has just let these comments slip out. And honestly, I don't want to be the one who calls it out. Like, let's get Bianca to notice this. Can Bianca just start paying attention to when Darian says stuff that isn't cool? <laughs> Girl, you hear whatever you want. What I heard okay, was right. that just, just they're like really starting to understand how I perceive myself. Shady elephant. No, I'm not. I love her, but I realize Darian can be a shady bitch. 
She needs to take it down a notch. Oh, my God. That was more fun Ladies, than a colostomy. what's the tea? Who, what's who's going in the bottom? Well, li well listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say my two-piece, because I've got to go. Lay it over. on us, Trinity. Who did what? Who were the anchors? Who were the? Me and her were the anchors. Her and Cuckoo Cynthia and I were, were entertainment. And then y'all were DIY. OK. So I want to clarify why I chose you to oh. be to go home. Oh, they asked you that. Yes. At the end they of the critique. I chose you because obviously Eureka and Nina got really good critiques. So it was between us three. I knew me and her were going on the bottom too. I chose you because you're you're not. Like there's no way they're gonna. So she was you. like a throwaway. You're just right, like let because me. Because they're just... not gonna choose her. Eureka. Well, I chose Trinity because she was our team captain, also because of the critiques that they, they got as anchors. And I chose you over Peppermint only because, to me, as a leader, you automatically get more responsibility for something going wrong, especially if it's your group. You see what I'm saying? I'm not upset that you picked me at all. I, under, I completely- Well, you retaliated like you were pretty you upset. let me finish. I take responsibility for the things that I did wrong in our segment. But what I don't agree with and what I think you're very shady it's about. It's not shady if it's true. You said that I was not a good leader. I was a good leader. Yes, we ran out of time and we did not get to do it all together. But that wasn't just my fault. We were working as a team. That is why you're shady. Am I shady? You are shady. Because I feel like you want to immediately go to shady versus stepping up and accepting responsibility. You're making it about something else that when it's not. When we sat down, I felt like it was, well, me and Peppermint are the anchors. They're going to do this because they want to do that. Nina, Eureka, y'all are doing no, DIY. No, I said no, this I'm not is done. why. I'm not done. No, you're done because I'm going to tell you why you're done. I explained exactly why I picked you for that role and Cuckoo for her role see, and Peppermint for her role. And if I anybody pick, had an I objection, pick. they could have objected and we could have talked it out. So don't stand on the stage and say, I didn't do my job because I did. When did now, you come if you over want and to check say on what we were that doing. I should take responsibility and I should be in the bottom because I'm the leader, I can do that. But don't say I didn't do my job. I felt like I wasn't included. You and Peppermint you talked about your You always think you're not included. You think I don't know, I know you. You don't know me, baby. Oh, they are back. Hey, strangers. Come through. What's the tea? Now tell me what's the tea. What happened? All right, bitch. Who was in the top? Who was in the bottom? Let's get to it. I will probably say that I'm in the bottom again. Why, based on what? They didn't really notice me in the performance. They had issue with the pants. But I'm not giving up. You know, I'm still here, I'm still fighting. Definitely the top are Brooke and Plastique and Evie for sure. Fierce. That's shocking. I'm gonna be very forward about exactly how I feel. Okay. Silky, I'm a little pissy that you like tried to throw me under the bus because I'm quote unquote injured. When I finished our routine with my sprained ankle doing you could not dream of. And that you tried to throw me under the bus after putting on some stretch fabric bull and covering it in beans. I struggled to come up with someone and I was gonna have a conversation with Evie about that afterwards, but she seemed I don't want to have a conversation pissed. about it afterwards because you just and, did it publicly. Okay, and then you said what you said about me. Because so it's like also the tea girl you still that didn't is tackle not the this tea. challenge. I don't give a damn anymore. We probably won't be friends after this show. Bitch, we I got wasn't the your time to in the first place. Because you're full of excuses and you never excuses. actually pushed to hit the challenge. I never come for you. I never say anything to you. Okay, yeah, sure. Let the cameras replay that. Okay. What have I said? Have I said anything? Okay. If, if, if you don't, already, if you're not really don't feel her, her, cool. I literally already don't f with her because she doesn't like me because I'm different fine. and I'm fine with that. Well, not because you're different, because. Yeah, because I'm different because I'm not going to shut my mouth when I don't like something. That is completely fine. I'm in this competition, not for your satisfaction. Girl, and apparently not for the judges either. What? Well, I know that America will love me. She's and doing I'm a good here. job. She's I'm doing a good job. job. Silky's doing a good job. Yes, but I'm just let's here. Give just pats on the back to mediocrity and beans. I'm, no tea. I thought you were going to be in the bottom this week for this look. 
Wait, I yelled at you because you I tried to throw me under the likely. bus for a pre-existing condition, bitch. So then what the f is your excuse about throwing me home because I'm injured, bitch? You go home because you're injured, because you're the one who's making excuses for how you can't do every week. You're like, I'm not a monster. I'm a drag queen. I don't really act. I'm a drag queen. I can't pretend to praise somebody else that, that isn't Jesus. I can't wait to see your ass in the bottom. I can't wait to see me in the bottom next to you if I can send your ass home. Oh. I'll dance circles around you. Oh, ass. would you? I can't with you. I uh, every don't word, bitch. really care for you, and it's not because I of your drag. I literally don't you care person, if you don't care for me but because your drag is. is not quality, bitch. OK. Alpha dumpster and it's quality, but OK. Off a dumpster that was in the top All three, right. so check it and then wreck it. OK. You think safe is going to get you somewhere? Sasha Velour was safe every week and won. That's because so Sasha Velour was talented. y'all do this? Since y'all got a mother score to settle, how about y'all just vote y'all's mother selves in to strut tonight? How about that? <laughs> oh, I doubt it that it's going to happen, so shut the fuck up no, and stop I arguing about bullshit. I just had to air my teeth. And when I call it out, I get thrown under the bus in the bottom because I call bitches out. You do say the truth. You do keep it 100. Like, I get you. Some of the girl might not, but I get you. I get you. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of What You Packin'. Hi.